Go High Level made me $1.5 million in less than three years. And no, it wasn't as an affiliate. Now the story starts back in February of 2020 when I actually got a cold call from another agency owner that said, hey, you really need to check out this software, Go High Level. And at first I was pretty skeptical. I thought, you know, I don't need this expensive software. I'm just generating leads for my clients on Facebook. We send them to a Google Sheet and then the client follows up with them. And this is working pretty well for us. But he shared a few things on that cold call that really got me thinking about how high level could help us increase the retention of our clients. So I decided to sign up for a free trial and high level was actually pretty small at this point. And so before I signed up for that free trial, I actually got on a sales call with Robin Alex, the co-founder of high level, which is pretty cool. And so I got into the software and I was instantly overwhelmed by how much there was in there. So after about 14 days, I still didn't really understand what was going on. I asked them to extend my trial, which by the way, they will still do that for you today. And I kept trying to understand the software and how it could really help us with our clients. And eventually I just decided, you know what, I need a course to really understand how all of this works. The guy that cold called me recommended one, I bought it. And within a week, I had everything set up. Now this was the thing I didn't understand at the beginning. I'm like, we're delivering the clients the leads all I do is generate it on Facebook and then I put it into a Google Sheet. It's not a big deal. But we were losing clients over and over and over again because they weren't properly following up with the leads. And High Level was fixing that problem for us. And within a week of truly grasping what the software was all about, I was able to provide a solution that really, really helped our clients start following up with those leads immediately by sending automatic texts, automatic emails to the client, and having all of this stuff under one roof. However, that's not what made us most of the money. I think I realized at one point, look, like these clients can definitely be helped by this software, but at the end of the day, they've still got busy front desk people. They're still slow calling the leads. They're still slow texting them or they say cringy stuff when they do. And I realized, you know what? We need to hire somebody to come in and do the follow-up on behalf of our clients. They need somebody texting the leads. They need somebody calling the leads. And I think if we're able to do that, our retention will skyrocket. So I had this hypothesis. I had a software that would make it possible, which was high level. I just needed the actual person to be calling the leads. And so at first I went as cheap as possible. I found someone for I think three or four dollars an hour in the Philippines who had no context whatsoever on my niche, which was orthodontics. And I hired them to do text only follow up. So no calls using high level on behalf of the very first client we had sold. And then I had the brilliant idea to go on vacation for a week. So I still had my business partner and one employee who were helping this person along, but they were just responding with canned messages. Sometimes the person we had hired to follow up with the leads would slack us and say, hey, what do I say back to this person? And we would say, in this case, I would respond something like this. And she would copy the entire message so that when she sent it back, it said, in this case, I would say something like this. And then it would go into the real response. It was just a nightmare. So once I got back from vacation, we decided to let that person go. And we sat down and said, you know what? We really need someone who understands this niche and understands understands proper follow-up protocols. My agency was around 30K a month at this point. And so we had some wiggle room to install somebody who had worked in the dental field previously, needed to earn maybe 40, 50K a year and would love to have a remote job. And so we went to Indeed and we posted a job that said exactly that. And through this hiring process, we had tons and tons of people apply, but one person stood out above everybody else. And over the next three to four months, we started bringing on more and more and more clients who wanted exactly what we had. Our agency services were flying off the shelf, so to speak, because all we had to do was tell them, look, you don't have to follow up with your own leads. We'll do it for you. And they were like, where do I sign? I need this. And then the other thing we saw happen was people would come on board and they were staying for so much longer. We would keep people maybe four or five, six months in the past. We're now keeping them for nine, 10 months, over a year, many of them two or three years with this new done for for you follow-up system. 
And once we got the system dialed in a little bit, we started hiring people at around $40,000 a year, plus $5 in commissions. And we compiled a team of really competent scheduling coordinators. They were able to get clients up and running fast and not only schedule them inside of high level where we can do all these fancy automations and stuff, but also get remote access to their practice management software at the orthodontic office and schedule inside of there. So it was truly a hands-off process for the doctor, which again was massive for retention and the perceived value of our offer. And through running this follow-up program for almost three years now, we learned three invaluable lessons. Number one, good appointment setting practices can't make up for a lack of leads. And I thought the minute we actually get someone that's competent calling these leads and that's their full-time job, we could generate them eight leads in a month, they'd get eight leads on their calendar and they'd have eight sales. But I was proven completely wrong. The reality of the situation was that out of every single lead we generated at my agency, only 40% of them actually made it on the schedule. And then a percentage of those 40% booked would no show or cancel. And so at the very beginning, I thought all we had was a follow up problem when really we also had a lead volume problem. If we generate 10 leads, for example, realistically, the max that you should expect to actually turn into paying customers is three. In some markets, it may be higher like four or five. And in some, it may be lower like one or two out of 10. So if you're a marketing agency owner and you're frustrated by the lead quality, quote unquote, that your clients are reporting back to you, my advice is just to embrace the fact that 50% of these leads will not even answer the phone. 40% of them will book and a percentage of those will no show. If you go into the relationship with your client telling them these things, they're going to be much less disappointed and they're going to have much more success. They have this mindset. And the other thing to learn here is that if you just simply aren't generating a enough leads for your clients, they're not going to get an ROI. So don't be afraid to ask for the right amount of ad spend and also focus really heavily on decreasing the cost per lead because if you can get cheaper leads, typically that means you can get more of those booked and you'll get a higher ROI for your client. Cost per acquisition is the thing that matters at the end of the day, but with a cheaper cost per lead, you're going to have a lower cost per acquisition. The second thing I learned through this process is that the best clients don't really want a guarantee. We hear about guarantees all the time in today's marketplace and every marketing agency thinks they have to have a guarantee. I'm here to tell you that the reality is you don't need a guarantee to sell. You need an offer that people are attracted to without a guarantee. And that's what we had with our done for you follow-up system. It wasn't just, hey, we're gonna send you more leads, which by the way is actually more work for the client and you have to pay us tons of money and you have to pay ad spend. Instead, what we were saying is we're going to send you booked appointments. You don't have to touch these leads. And the experienced business owners who had tried following up with these leads in the past were practically begging us to take their money because they wanted more growth in their business without investing more in their team or in their own time following up with these leads. So again, if you're an agency owner, if you have a SaaS with Go High Level, keep this in mind with your clients. How can I make things less effort, less sacrifice for them? And then you'll be able to increase your prices and you'll be able to sell more because the right clients want to save time and energy over money. And the third lesson I learned through this process of making one and a half million dollars selling this done for you appointment setting offer is that the product is never finished. Now, what do I mean by that? Even when I had amazing scheduling coordinators calling every single lead that came in within an hour. Even with some of the most unique and best campaigns in the industry for our orthodontic clients, we would still have maybe one out of every five or one out of every eight clients where we couldn't get them the results we wanted and they would just leave. I think this is one of the biggest lies ever told in the marketing agency space, which is if you go into a niche, you're going to be able to get every single client the same result no matter where they are. That's not the case at all. Even within the same same niche, we saw huge variability in the local markets that we were running each of these ads in. And maybe it had to do with the brand of the company. Maybe it had to do with the market. Maybe Facebook had blacklisted their ad account. Who knows? Whatever it was, we could not get the same results for every single client. And any marketing agency out there that tells you that they can do that with predictability is lying. Nobody has a 100% success rate. And I'll be honest, there were some of my darkest moments as an entrepreneur when I would sell a client and I would 
would say, look, this is what we've been able to do in the past. I think this is what we'll be able to do for you. And still we couldn't produce the results that we wanted to. And I really woke up one day and I was like, you know what? I thought I would be better at this by this point. I thought I would know how to do this more successfully. And so I just went to work making the product as good as it could be. I met with my ads team every single week and we went over how we could get more leads for every single client. We brought in a white label agency with years and decades of more experience than we had to give us input on the clients who weren't going as well. I also met with the follow-up management team every single week and went over their phone conversations, went over their text conversations and talked about how we could improve the tonality, how we could sell without selling, how we could call people and treat them better, highlight our clients in a better light and be able to refer to the businesses that we were following up on behalf of like we were a local. I invested in coaches, mentors, courses, anything I could get my hands on that would teach me how to get better results for my clients. And then every single day I coached my team on how we could implement these things to do better and better and better. One example of how we implemented this is even when we had a good amount of leads coming in and even when we had a good amount of appointments coming in for most of our clients, in many markets, no shows were a massive issue. So we could book, let's say 10 appointments in a month, but if five of those are no showing, not only is the client going to be upset about the money they wasted, they're going to be upset about the time they wasted even more because it's expensive to keep the lights on, keep your staff paid and happy when people are no showing and prime time spots. And so again, I went out and I found as many people who were experts on no shows as possible and paid them to sit down with me and say, hey, how can we mitigate this? How can we get the people to show up? And we came up with a checklist where instead of just calling people and putting them directly on the schedule no matter what. We were calling them and we were qualifying them. We were making sure they could afford it. We were making sure they could make it on the day and time that they said. And we were incentivizing them even further just to show up for that appointment by saying, you know what, this special offer is for you, but if you no show the appointment, it gets taken away. And after putting all this work into making this the best thing could possibly be, I actually sold my agency. And while it was a sub $1 million sale, not crazy amounts of money, a big part of the reason that we got a strategic buyer to notice us and notice what we were doing and be interested enough to purchase our IP, so to speak, around this follow-up management process was because we had put in the time to really create something that was differentiated from the market. So that's my go high level story. And I want to make sure you understand this one last point. This is crucially important. So please don't click off. If you think you're going to buy high level, you're just going to slap a new brand on it and you're going to go out into the marketplace. and You're going to resell it to whoever says yes. I'm here to tell you you're in for a rude awakening. The only reason businesses succeed is because they are different. And as high level increases in popularity, the amount of people who recognize the dashboard, recognize what the software can do, aren't going to be fooled by just another copycat version of the same software. So what are we to do? The answer is be different, go super niche, provide extra value on top of what other people are doing. And as evidenced by my story, people will be falling over themselves trying to give you money for something that is truly valuable to them. And in the long term, you're going to have a business that compounds instead of a business that never really takes off because you've got so many clients churning because there's no real differentiation or help on behalf of the client. And I want to be clear, I'm not saying you have to spend tens of thousands of dollars to customize the software to be your own. What I'm saying is you can take the software as it stands. You don't even need to put a new brand on it. But if you have a differentiated way to help clients get onboarded and take away, most importantly, the effort and the sacrifice that they have to put in to succeed with the software, that's enough differentiation. Go high level as a tool is unbeatable as far as I'm concerned, but there is a massive learning curve. And the best way to differentiate yourself is by doing as much of the process for the client as possible so that they can get the business outcomes they want without more effort. If you want more info on how I used Go High Level inside of my agency, check out this video. We'll see you next time.